This is a review of the Niagara Classic line. We're going to begin the review with Rene Laflemme helping us install the units. So we're going to wind the clock back to Rene's visit. Here we go. My name is Peter Brunier. I'm here with Rene from Niagara. Rene, how are you? Good, and you? It's good to see you. Yes. Rene's been kind enough to help me do the installation of the classic line of Niagara. Could you explain which components we have in the system please? Yes, we have a pair of classic amp. It is a bridge right now so we have 200 watt per channel. 200 per channel uh, viewers bridged driving Rido D4.1s and this is a combination that we heard last night that was simply magical. I yes. mean, <laughs> So warm, the bass was outstanding. Yes, it was. Very sweet, a lot of imaging. I really love it. Yeah, your room, your room is also special. Well, that's uh, the the room is uh, the size of the room is is kind of like a mastering studio in a way. Yes, a yep. near field monitor. Yeah, near field monitors is mm. what we listen. Um, there's a video from Expona of a uh, of a fellow who set up a near field system. There's a lot to be said for near field listening. Yep. Yes. I love it because it, it's between headphone and uh, yeah. Re yeah. regular audio system. Yeah. So you really hear the recording. You really do. You you hear the recording and you really hear the equipment, and you don't hear the room as much. Now you're hearing the room right now, and that's why we're not lapel mic because we like to show you what the room sounds like. So you're getting with our voices right now. Yes. So uh, along with the. Uh, with the classic amplifier, we have again we have a pair of them bridge putting out 200 watts per channel into 8 ohms. What is special about that uh, classic amp? On bridge mode, you use only four MOSFET, 20 watt in class A. Mm -hmm. So most of the listening we you do, it's always in class A because mm -hmm. uh, it's really only the peak that will go over 20 watt. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have also the classic preamp. It's a brand new preamp. It's a tube preamp. Uh, the dynamic is the signal to noise. Uh, everything is a bit like a transistor preamp, mm -hmm. but you have the 3D imaging, the timbre of a true preamp. Mm -hmm. That preamp have a remote, so if we want to use the remote, you put on remote here, and you will have access to change the input and the volume. So the controller also, if you don't want to use the remote, you can change input from the controller. Inside that controller, when you uh, want to have access to order menu, you push for uh, five seconds, and you have access to order menu inside. So the the thing about uh, that preamp, it's a tube preamp, but you also al also have uh, another stage, a transistor stage, if you want to have more uh, volume. So here you have a pure tube preamp and here you have uh, one FET uh, extra FET that gives you 12 dB more for some kind of music that are really dynamic with uh, great bass uh, you most people will prefer with the plus 12 if you listen to a beautiful classical music that the timbre is really important usually you will prefer full tube no extra gain so uh, the thing, let me just put back here. So the the thing uh, with uh, that preamp also, you have a, a great uh, headphone amp. So you just have to go here on uh, headphone, and you have access to the same control, but with the headphone. You have uh, one RCA out or two pair of XLR out. You just need to select the one you, you need to use with the classic amp or other amp. So uh, you can also change the luminosity here. So you can go to nothing to really bright. And we use those uh, sensitivity. It's exactly the same for all the Nagra. So it's possible to have exactly the same uh, sensitivity for, for the light. Uh, it's about it. Good, thank you. We have also the phono stage VPS that mm -hmm. is powered mm -hmm. by the MPS. Mm -hmm. 
it's pretty clean when you have all the classic system because you have one power supply that power everything mm -hmm. so you just need one AC cable to go there and after that you have DC 12 volt that go from that machine to up each unit only the classic amp is have his own power supply so uh, when you buy just one un unit you don't need to have the, the big power supply mm -hmm. uh, there's a power supply in the classic preamp and in the classic DAC so here is the classic DAC the classic DAC have the same digital board and the HD DAC that is really really famous mm -hmm. it's really transparent uh, the sound stage you heard uh, yesterday it's huge uh, it's very fast and uh, there's nine FET per channel so no up amp mm -hmm. you can hear much more dynamic it's not thin and uh, so we have that new uh, classic DAC the classic preamp the classic amp and uh, the VPS, the MPS power supply, and that CD player that uses a real CD transport from Philips uh, that people still love. Mm -hmm. So this is plugged in the classic DAC, or you can use a computer. Or well, we were playing uh, CDs last night, and we were also playing uh, uh, files from the computer. And the CDs, uh, at, although they were red book, the detail, the layering in the room, was simply stunning. And right now we've had the Rido set up for over six months, so we have a real good bead on what these loudspeakers can do. And the sound we got last night was simply beyond belief. I mean, it was holographic and it what, was layered. It was too good. It was <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh my God, yes. Well, I want to thank you for joining us at AV Showrooms and coming down. Uh, and visiting us, uh, Rene is uh, based in Montreal. You're the North American representative for Nagra. Yes. Na Nagra is made in uh, in Switzerland, and uh, we are we are honored uh, to be selected to show Nagra uh, through video to the world. So thank you, Rene. Thank you. Good. Have a good trip. Okay. Thanks.